We're here in Davos talking about world energy. Mm -hmm. And everybody's talking about energy and the energy transition and sustainability. But yeah. the number one source of energy in the world, over 80%, is fossil fuels. And it hasn't changed in 30 years. And then number two is hydro. Number three is nuclear. You'd think we would be really talking about nuclear because that's the second in line of the carbon-free sources. Mm -hmm. And then wind is well behind that and solar is way behind that. So. But somehow it's not on the agenda. I don't see it here. People aren't talking about it. So we've brought our film here to try to educate and to try to break this wall of fear and ignorance about something that's really important. Why do you think governments are hesitant to use nuclear energy? For me, it's politics, politics in the West. I mean, we have to realize that Russia and China are doing far more work on, on nuclear than, we, than America has fallen way behind that. We, we, we froze up in the 70s, 80s. We didn't build uh, after the 80s, after Three Mile Island, and uh, yeah. certainly Chernobyl. Chernobyl was the only really accident, that, and nothing compared in the amount of deaths and damage to the other, fossil, to the other energy sources, that, like coal, mm -hmm. gas, oil, many more deaths, many more deaths from coal. But uh, we, 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 f we fixated on nuclear energy because of nuclear war. And yeah. we always have confounded the, pe most average people confound the two. They don't realize that there's a huge difference in the way it's processed. The plutonium enrichment is much less. There's no chance of a nuclear explosion. But all these fears dominate. Yeah, the, the discussion. We literally wouldn't have the climate crisis that we have had we stayed on track in the, where we were in the 1950s and 60s. But we must add that obviously the industry gets, the, the nuclear industry gets more stronger and stronger because they're allowed to work without too many regulations and insanities, that which, and they develop. It gets better and better and better. Now we're really in a place where it's better than ever, and uh, they're building all kinds of the big ones they're building and the small ones, the sm SMRs, the small modular reactors, yeah. very effective. It's all rooted in the idea that a tiny amount of radiation will do some terrible damage to the world. It's harmful. And of course, we're, we're living in an amount of radiation here. It's flooding the room, and actually it's twice the average world background radiation because we're up at altitude in Davos. Mm -hmm. So you'd think we would all be terrified to have twice that radiation. And yet, when regulating nuclear power, the, the theory behind it is that the tiniest amount, if it's background radiation plus, you know, 1%, that's, that's not, a, not allowable because that's going to harm people. It's completely not true. It's rooted in an idea from 60, 70 years ago that our DNA can't repair itself and that any damage to DNA is permanent, cumulative, irreparable. And we now know that's not true. 